<laughs> he's white. Michael Shannon's white. <laughs> That's former alumni. And, uh, he ain't, if he was former alumni, he wouldn't be talking about athletes the way he's talking about athletes. <laughs> Podcast. My name is Dale, and today we are talking about Brandon Marshall ripping Chad and Sharp for blasting his fellow athletes. Check this out. She was with Uncle Shannon. Yeah, she did the Shannon Sharp one. Oh, after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's that's when when he asked her about uh, how many bodies she had. <laughs> he's and she told him, and he started. He said he's white. Uncle <laughs> Shannon is white. <laughs> that's former alumni. And uh, he, ain't, if he was former alumni, he wouldn't be talking about athletes the way he's talking okay. about athletes. He talking like, like he. Like he was trained to to be a ABC NBC analyst. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's a responsibility that you have. Like, first off, I would say this amazing career, and he to me, I think he's uh, probably um he's probably top three when it comes to personalities right now in television. Yep. He he, he found this. He hit a stride. Definitely. When he started pulling out the black and miles and the Hennessy the memes and stuff on FS1, he found it, right? And he became America's uncle. So shout out to him there. But what I don't vibe with is when you tear down your fellow, you know, athlete. There's a way to critique them. You know, it's like, and you clout chasing, you talking about Russell Wilson a year later on some other things. Like, like come on, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you your you, your platform's too big for you to go chase that, yeah. and I just don't vibe with that. I like I was watching the interview you did with Stephen A. Smith, mm-hmm. and I like what he said about that because obviously he catches all the flack for what he says and, he's, and how he's he a, says. He's it. a word Smith. He he's go go go. Yeah, but he it, well, his point was, I say what I say, but I really talk like this. If you catch me acting different, he's like, this is how I talk. He said, That's can true. I have a job? He said, this is my personality. If you catch me. Putting this on, then you could be annoyed with me because I'm doing something. I'm not being somebody. But here's you the problem. I mean? Here's the problem. So Stephen A. Smith and like the Skip Bayless of the world changed the game from a uh, broadcasting covering sports standpoint. Journalism, there's a you're not going out there critique like talking about the person, the athlete, the person of the athlete. You're not going out there talking about the X's and O's because you don't know the fucking X's and O's. Okay, so they went out there, boom, it turns into first ki- first take, and they start putting all this co- color in the game, Yeah. right? And so they, you know, it's like they start talking about things that, and it's not, I'm not just, this is not about Stephen A, it's about the industry. So they start adding, a, you know, more sauce to sports. Or too much color. And so people's opinions, like you ask, like I was, I got into it on some, with somebody on my show, and they're like, this quarterback sucked. I'm like, why does quarterback suck? Because he threw this interception. I said, why did he throw the interception? And they couldn't tell me why he threw the interception. But any, you know, body who who know, like, football and that person's job would say, like, actually that wasn't on a quarterback. It was on a receiver. The receiver actually ran the wrong route. So the quarterback dropped back. He took a five-step drop. He looked the safety off, then threw it to the right. If he ran the right route, it would have been a touchdown instead of an interception. Mm. But what we see in media <laughs> is that, you suck the quarterback through the interception, but re- the reality is it's on a wide receiver. So you got guys out there creating these narratives that's just destroying careers or reputation. I see. And so, like, the reason why Shannon Sharp caught astray from me is because sometimes he's going out there just like get, just click. Mm, yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? It's yeah, like, yeah. That's, that's not you know, good. here's what I learned in that game, and that's why I had to get out of FS1. In like the whole linear stand side of things, is because and watch this. Stephen A. Smith, he loves the he loves he hates the Cowboys. He loves the Steelers. He loves the Knicks. He hates this person, right from a from a from a TV standpoint. And then you got Skip Bayless. You know who he like. You know who he don't like. Yep, them Cowboys. Who loves Jordan? Who loves LeBron? Debate. Right. So basically, they 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 protect their takes. So it don't matter what happens in this game or what happens with this athlete. It's going to be something. That no, I'm, I got to make sure my point is valid. So you go out there and you start making up shit. Yeah. Like, Cause you gotta keep it Skip dead. Bayless, how can you say something bad about LeBron James? 
he got to protect his take because what? That makes him relevant. That that actually was one. That's one of his biggest things. Is LeBron James this? LeBron James that? Bruh, how can you go out there and talk that reckless about LeBron James? Somebody now you can say he had a bad game. You can say you know what I'm saying that was a bad mistake. He shouldn't have did this. Made the decision that way. You you can you can you can give your opinion there. But to say he's not good, to say he's not great, to say he's a terrible person, to say, how? It makes him what? A hater. <laughs> well, that too. But. So that's that's why that TV stuff don't don't work for me. You know what's wild is now I'm feeling like, okay, now it makes sense why they call it first take. They're mm. stuck to their first take. Mm. Right, so I get exactly what Brandon Marshall is talking about here. He doesn't like the fact that Shannon Sharp goes in on fellow athletes. Brandon Marshall, I think his idea of athletes analyzing sports and being commentators was that they should not be like a, uh, Skip Bayless or like a Stephen A. Smith who will blast and trash, totally rip a current athletes, their persona, things that they do sometimes on and off the field. Like for example, Kyrie Irving, who got ripped, you know, for not taking the COVID uh, vaccine. He got ripped for saying certain things about, you know, certain groups and all that. That's just one example of one person. But I think Brandon Marshall thinks that former athletes, you know, they're a fraternity and they should be defending each other rather than going at each other relentlessly. Like for instance, you know, in the case that he brought up about Russell Wilson, you know, Shannon Sharp. He goes in on Russell. I know that his former team is the Denver Broncos, but he just like rips into Russell like, at almost any chance he gets. And it's almost the same way that I see Colin Coward uh, ripping into Russell Wilson. So you think that if you're a former athlete, you know, I know that Shannon Sharp didn't experience, you know, this whole social media era, but as a former athlete, you would think that maybe you know, you've been in the same shoes as an athlete. So you know that things happen, you know, from time to time that are kind of out of your control. Now, Shannon wasn't a quarterback, but he knows, like, sometimes you just might not feel it or something happens, you know, it happens that a ball's tipped, you know, out of your way or something happens, you know, that you know that you tried your best and it just didn't happen. But these commentators, these announcers are just clowning you and making you look bad to the point where at times, it's, you know, it's, it's borderline on disrespect. So I get what Brandon Marshall was talking about. You know, all, almost all the commentators do that now, like the, the best ones, the people that everybody tunes into with um, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith taking the lead, okay? So, um, so I totally understand where Brandon Marshall is coming from again. All right, and um, I don't think a lot, a lot of people are not, are not willing to come out and you know, say something like this. You know, because I guess they find it entertaining. And secondly, everybody loves you know Shannon Sharp because he makes these situations like just funny. Like, he might be like blasting somebody, but it's funny and you like to see it. So nobody really talks about it. You know, some guys get pissed off, I guess, right? But it's like a, it's a form of entertainment now. All right, so uh, so that's about it. So until next time.